Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how you change the blade on the Parkside Plunge track saw um, that you can get from Little. Some people have been having trouble with it. So, uh, it comes mounted here conveniently with a 5mm Allen key. Um, let me just show you what you do, which you probably already know, uh, to get uh, into the position of changing it. The first thing you need to do is to plunge the blade. Um, and to do that you obviously push that up, plunge the blade down, and then you lock it down with that. And that gets your blade sat down there. So you can see that, that locks it down. Uh, that doesn't spindle lock it. The spindle lock is just there. You can see that and if you press that in, see if it's in the right place, that will lock the spindle. So you push that in to lock the spindle. And the theory is, is, is that you just press that in and hey presto, you can undo it. Which is all very well, apart from the fact that when you use this thing and or when it comes out of the factory, it gets a bit tight. And you might well not unreasonably be worried that you will then strip that, which would be a bit of a disaster. Uh, when I found that, um, I just reached for my ratchet drive bit set. That comes from Halfords, uh, a long time ago as a Halfords, uh, in which I have a 5mm bit. So you just put that in there, supply sufficient force and off it comes. Um, couple of points of note, so basically use a bigger lever, that is uh, not really going to do it and if you try and hold it with a pair of mole grips or something you're going to have a problem, okay, so don't. Now if you take that off, just as you know that is 32 millimetres, the hole is 20 millimetres and the mounting plate there um, is also 32 millimetres, so you can't have a blade with a big hole in it, even with a washer to, even with the spacer washers that you get in some sets. You can't use those, you have to go for a blade with a 20mm hole. Anyway, so, um, to put a new blade back on, I'm perfectly happy with this blade, I'm not going to do that, I'll put the old one back on. Slide it up there, mount it on its shoulders, even with that, and just do that up. All the way up. There we go. The, spigot, the uh, spindle lock is still down, so I'm just going to go and tweak that up a little bit with that. Doesn't need to be too tight. And then we can push that down, pick it back up, pull the spindle lock up, just make sure the blade turns. And that is how you change it. The secret is to use, uh, don't use that if it gives you any trouble, um, don't lean on it and do all sorts of crazy things that might damage your um, bolt that holds the blade in. Get out something better. Thank you for watching. Please hit like, please share, please subscribe.